Thanks for joining me. I've been to quite a few ancient Greek and Roman cities now throughout my time here in Turkey, but one of the most surprising for me was the ancient city of Laodicea. And I recently did a video on my visit to the travertine terraces of Pamukkale and the ancient city of Heropolis, which I'll link here in case you missed it. But only a 15 minute drive away in the Denizli province is another fantastic ancient treasure. Tickets were about $10, but entrance was included with my museum pass. However, there was a combined ticket available for both Laodicea and Heropolis for around $18.50, which is a much better deal if you're planning on going to both sites. Although this ancient city is smaller than Heropolis, it was significantly less crowded compared to its size. In fact, the whole time that we were there, I only saw a handful of people walking around. And however less popular this ancient city of Laodicea is, it did not disappoint in the least and actually surpassed my expectations. Laodicea was named after the wife of the Seleucid king Antiochus II, and it was founded in the 3rd century BC, although there is actually evidence that's been recovered of settlements dating back to 5500 BC. The city was laid out in a grid pattern, which actually makes me chuckle a little bit because I'm always teasing my husband about how modern day Turkey doesn't believe in right angles and any sort of construction. But one of the main streets of the city was called Syria Street and was from the Roman period. And at one point, this street would have been super busy lined with shops. And there was a sewage system underneath the middle of the road that you can still see. And the street would have been flanked on either side by columns holding up a roof for passerbys to protect themselves from the sun and the rain. At this point, the heat was getting pretty intense. Even my skin was starting to get tingly a little bit, and we were contemplating if it was the right time to visit the city, but I'm so glad that we didn't turn around and just continued onward because the next area we explored was really spectacular. Laodicea is an important place for Christians because its church is actually one of the seven churches mentioned in the book of Revelation. And the church here is so large, it actually took up a whole block of the city, and it was currently being worked on when we were there. This was definitely the most impressive part of the entire ancient city. So much has been unearthed, and it's all on display to view. And we even saw archaeologists when we were there using their little tools and brushes to unearth these hidden artifacts. It was so neat to see in action. Mosaic floors of the church were especially interesting, and I was surprised to see how well preserved they were. There was no doubt a lot of time and care taken to reveal all that was hidden below the dirt.
There are two theaters at Laodicea. One is in its natural state with no work done to it, and the other one's been restored extensively. And from the looks of it, it seems to be something that's in use today for various events. Laodicea was known to be a wealthy city because it was located at the intersection of various trade routes. They were best known for their production of textiles, which is actually something that the Denizli province is still known for to this day. And even after the city was destroyed during a large earthquake, they refused assistance from the Roman Empire at the time and were able to rebuild on their own. The restoration of Laodicea is not finished by any means, and when we were there we actually saw a crane in use that was putting together part of the gate at the far end of the city. Thousands of years of earthquakes have taken their toll on many ancient cities in Turkey, but I'm really impressed with the work that's gone on here at Laodicea, and it seems like their persistence to bring the city back to life for tourists at least to enjoy is not ending anytime soon. Thanks for watching this little video of mine. I really appreciate it. And if you're interested in seeing more from my perspective as an American living in Turkey, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and remember to give this video a thumbs up. I'm excited to bring you more from Turkey soon. Until next time, thanks!